Dear colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, please accept my apologies for not being able to be with you in Mishkot today in this conference. While you're watching this video, I participate in parliamentary committee meetings, which are responsible to hear the new minister responsible for energy of the Hungarian government. I really would have loved to be there with you today in person and discuss the current challenges and matters about environmental protection. But please accept my short presentation about the government directions in the field of sustainability and environmental protection. We're going to discuss briefly the general directions, the objectives and measures already taken and to be taken, the importance of circular economy for Hungary, the consistency between economic growth and environmental protection, as well as the comprehensive environmental goals. We're going to talk about the National Environmental Program, uh, touch upon the issues of air quality and noise protection, about technology and innovation, and we're going to mention awareness raising and environmentally conscious thinking as well. When we come to the directions in sustainability, then you have to know that Hungary has set an ambitious goal. Hungary would like to become by 2030 one of the five member states of the European Union where it is best to live and work. In order to reach this ambitious goal, we have to have a horizontal approach. Besides protecting our natural heritage, the interest of future, future generations and our national resources, we also have to be aware that it is not an objective to be reached without accelerating the transition to a circular economy. We are proudly and happily participating in international cooperation at uh, whatever level, at the UN level or in the European Union, bilaterally or in regional or sub-regional corporations. We think that apart from trying to um, cope with the sustainable development goals, which are global, we all have to be aware of our regional and uh, sub-regional um, particularities that we really have to take into consideration the circumstances we are living in. That is, for instance, in our case, the particularities of the Carpathian Basin. We, apart from these mentioned goals, also believe that when doing the transition towards a circular economy, we're going to increase competitiveness and we're going to create financial and social stability. We think that our 2030 vision is based on prosperity, security, cleanliness, sustainability, and sovereignty. We would like to protect the health and quality of life of Hungarian families and communities. And that we think that it is the way to protect and preserve the natural environment of the Carpathians. Of course, we have also some general objectives and measures that have been already published or been taken, and we are on the way to a transition towards an innovative, green, digitized circular economy. And we have already declared certain objectives um, that are essential in this regard. We think that in the beginning of the 21st century, uh, one of the main challenges is to evaluate correctly the long-term effects of our decisions on future generations. We are certain that the transition towards sustainability can only be realized if the three pillars of sustainable development are strengthened in a complex manner. We think that this horizontal approach is reflected of, in many of the efforts and decisions made 
in the past years and we try to maintain the results already reached and we would like to continue the work in this regard. We are in a situation which is relatively easy in this regard concerning that the legal environment is favorable. The Hungarian fundamental law is one of the few constitutions in the world which extensively mentions environmental protection and sustainable development, the latter also in the framework of international cooperation, uh, which is essential when we come to bi or multilateral cooperation of the country. We think that in order to protect the created world we're living in, we have to cooperate not only within the nation, but with other nations, as many of our challenges are truly international and global. But of course, we have to take into consideration our own particularities, as mentioned before. Therefore, in 2020, the Hungarian government has adopted its own climate and nature protection uh, action plan, and the Hungarian parliament has its own national sustainable development uh, strategy. When we come to the importance of circular economy, it is essential when we would like to face the challenges of nowadays. It means economic, social and environmental sustainability at the same time. And when you look at the um, decisions made by the Hungarian government in the past years concerning um, the protection of families and uh, the protection of children, and then you'll see uh, what we mean by maintaining social sustainability and how to address um, demographic questions as it is also part of it. And you have to know that we believe that economy and the environment can live peacefully together. So economic growth and uh, ecological stability uh, can go hand in hand. When we look at circular economy, then it is obvious that it has to be a priority um, when regarding the government's objectives. And we think that uh, it includes many elements. But we truly believe that the developments of technology innovation is one of the key issues which we uh, have to face because it is of course awareness raising and the environmentally conscious thinking is something very important but without the minds of our ingenious colleagues engineers and uh, others in our societies uh, we would hardly be able to reach our goals therefore we count on the cooperation of the society in order to reach these objectives. We also have an ambitious goal not only to preserve and maintain, but also to improve the condition of our waters, lands, forests, and therefore we would like to um, reach Hungary, which is even better to live in uh, than nowadays. When we come to um, two important questions in this regard, then we have to uh, mention the um, circular water and waste management systems. When talking about Hungary, you might have heard that uh, we are going to introduce a concessionary waste management model, which is in reality just part of a transition to circular economy system. We would like to um, strengthen um, the prohibition of illegal waste disposal. So we set strict sa sanctions um, for these um, acts. And we are also introducing the extended producer responsibility as many others in, uh, in the European continent. We are also aware that um, the circular water management is uh, essential and we would like to create the regulatory framework to um, 
to reach this objective. As Hungary is very rich in water, but nevertheless, if we cannot use it wisely, uh, then we can also face um, challenges in this regard, as it is obvious after certain um, elements uh, in during this summer that happened, for instance, in Hungary and in many other European countries. Um, therefore, we have to change such climate questions in Hungary as well. But we are aware that economic growth and environmental protection, as already mentioned, can go hand in hand, and that innovation and technology and the cooperation of the members of the society and the economy may help to reach uh, this objective. We have comprehensive environmental goals. Um, we think that sustainable development is makeable in Hungary and in the region, and that it is going to help to protect the health and the quality of life of the members uh, of the society. And we know that we have unique, but also global challenges um, to face. We are very happy that actually in Hungary since 2000, the GDP has increased while carbon dioxide emis emissions have decreased. And since 2010, um, Hungary was able to produce one unit of GDP with 24% less greenhouse gas emissions um, in the Hungarian economy. We were one of the 21 countries who were able to achieve um, this kind of economic growth. We really would like to take advantage of uh, the potential opportunities that are inherent in the waste management sector, and we truly encourage innovation um, in this regard as well. We really think that waste is a resource, uh, something that we have to think differently about in the future. Therefore, we uh, introduced a new system. This new legal framework also encourages us and the um, actors in the um, economy to be um, more responsible in this regard and to try to um, renew their uh, attitude towards the waste management sector. We know that we have very ambitious goals set by the European Union. In order to reach these goals, uh, we have to work hard um, to maintain the uh, results already reached and get further uh, and get closer to the uh, results and uh, ambitions set by the EU. But please, let me allow to talk shortly about the National Environmental Program. The National Environmental Program, which is um, before the Parliament um, right now, it is valid until 2026, and it is a strategic framework for achieving uh, our environmental protection goals. Um, it aims at improving the environmental condition of Hungary, um, but it also shows certain uh, results made in the previous six-year term. Um, for instance, um, we were happy to see that we have a growing reuse of waste, that we decreased waste disposal, we decreased air pollution, uh, we improved the quality of potable water, and uh, we improved also ecotourism um, during the last session, and we are determined to improve um, the environmental uh, circumstances of Hungary further during the fifth National Environmental Protection Program in the coming years. One of the main challenges that we are facing in Europe right now is air quality and noise protection. We are enhancing this system in Hungary too, but the National Air Pollution Reduction Program, um, which operates um, since 2020, uh, faces many challenges, and we know that we have a lot of work to be done in the next uh, years, and we are determined um, to 
continue the work in the coming years as well. We know the health consequences for the society. Um, therefore, we think that it is a um, field where we are going to get and we're getting right now also a lot of help from civil society, from scientists. It is one of our common concerns. And we know that if we work on it together, we're going to find the way to improve our results here with at the same time maintaining uh, economic uh, growth in the region. We have other protection measures uh, which we have taken. Um, we are aware of the importance of renewable energy. We would like to increase forest areas. Uh, Hungary has set very ambitious goals. We are planting uh, 10 trees after every newborn in Hungary um, in the framework of an extended program. And therefore, for instance, last year, we planted 1.1 million trees after uh, the little boys and girls who've been born uh, in Hungary. But also there are other challenges which we are trying to uh, face. We try to use the innovations, the methods already existing um, in the European Union, for instance, let's see the Ecolabel um, or other programs, for instance, the European VIG for Waste Reduction, which is currently ongoing uh, in Europe just while we are uh, sitting in this conference or why I'm talking to you via this video. And we have other plans and other programs which are all either doing or um, promoting. Uh, for instance, we have a so-called PET, PET Cup, uh, which is um, an initiative, civil initiative, um, which uh, collects um, the PET, PETs um, in the Tissa River, for instance. Um, so garbage from the river, basically, it's a boat derby and uh, is very popular by the, uh, by the participants, big companies, international companies too are participating. Or there is a voluntarily uh, for a clean Hungary project campaign, which is uh, one of the biggest campaigns in Hungary, uh, where we try to um, free the country from illegally dumped waste. It is also in the framework uh, of protecting our children and protecting our families, but we have a lot of other programs um, which we would like to continue in the future as well. When we come to um, the society, we also come to the question of uh, awareness raising, environmentally conscious thinking. Um, we know that it is a never-ending um, task of, uh, of the states and uh, we think that when we create a supportive uh, environment for innovation we're going to get the results um, from the market and uh, from the society and therefore um, we try to strengthen the uh, social sustainability approach and attitude and we try to raise environmental awareness um, at the same time, trying to maintain um, the natural uh, values and man-made values of the Carpathian Basin um, in the um, principle of uh, protecting our created world, as already mentioned beforehand. And therefore, we are thankful for all the actors who participate in the implementation of the sustainable development of the individuals, the families, the businesses, all the civil organizations. And not only within the country, but also in the region. As we know that uh, also for the Central Eastern European region, uh, cooperation in this regard is essential. And I hope that our countries are going to continue in the future to this kind of cooperation and not only continue, but also enhance and extend it and that we can work together in science and in the economy um, towards a new and uh, more sustainable future together. I wish you a very fruitful conference, a very successful event, and 
Thank you once again for listening to me.